Hey guys, so uh, I figured out a way to put arm and air mode all on a single three position switch. Um, and I'm just going to do a quick tutorial on how to do it. Um, the first things you're going to want to do is inside of the KISS GUI, you're going to want to select the AUX1 and select it to arm high. Uh, this will allow the AUX1 channel to arm the quad when the command from the controller is high from whatever switch. So go ahead and plug in and hit connect. And the first thing you're going to want to do is go over to min throttle and set min throttle high enough to where your motor spins smoothly. The next thing you'll want to do is have mid command set slightly higher then min throttle. This will make it to where air mode's not on. And then you're going to go to aux 1 and you're going to select high arm. Once you have high arm selected, you can save your settings. And the next thing you'll want to do is go ahead and disconnect. And then reconnect to make sure that your settings saved properly. If everything looks good, you can disconnect and move on to the next step. Then the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go into your radio and you're gonna go into menu and then you're gonna page over to the input screen and then you're gonna to wanna to go down uh, and make a new input I have mine set up as arm and then I'm using switch SE which is right here um, three position switch and then what you're gonna want to do is set the offset to 100 so when the switch is in its all the way down position it'll actually be in the middle in the kiss GUI and when the switch is in the middle position it'll be all the way up and what that'll do is it'll allow you to arm at middle position and anything above the middle position on the switch, the uh, quad will stay armed. You're also going to want to page over to the mixer and set channel 5. You'll want to set channel 5 and source is arm. This will make it to where channel 5, which is aux 1, is controlled by the arm function uh, that we just previously set up which is controlled by the SE switch in this case. Uh, that takes care of getting it to arm at the middle uh, middle position. The next thing we need to do is get the throttle to bump up uh, basically like a idle up function uh, when we have the switch in its all the way up position. So you're going to page back over to the input screen. And you can see here I have three different throttles. Uh, the reason why I have three is you want the throttle to act the exact same as it did uh, when there was no switch assigned to it. You want it to act like that in the all the way down position, so unarmed position, the armed position, and the third one, um, we're going to set a differential of, of um, I have mine set at four. Um, yours may have to be higher, depends on what your uh, endpoints are set at. Um, but what you're going to do is you're going to basically copy three of their throttles down, and then after you've done that, you're going to go to the first one, select it, edit, and you're going to go to the switch, highlight it, flick the switch that you want to use and put it in the unarmed position and then you can exit. You're going to go to the next one, hold enter, go to edit, same thing, you're going to go down to the switch position, select it, flick the switch that you're wanting to use, put that in the armed position but not air mode, so middle position, then you're going to exit. And then the last one is how we get air mode to activate. So you're going to go to edit. 
And the way I recommend doing this is if you like how your throttle operates now, like you, you like how your endpoints are set up, um, you're going to go into here. You're going to, uh, with your props off, plug your battery in, arm the quad, put it up into air mode. And as of right now, it should be as normal. Um, air mode shouldn't be active. You're going to go to curve and set it for diff. And then this will be zero. And what we're going to do is you're going to highlight that and you're slowly going to increase the number until you can hear the quad jump into air mode. Once it's jumped into air mode, that's as high as that needs to go. Um, after you have it like that, you can exit. And I'll show you how it basically works. So if you see right here, actually, I'll go over to the. All right, so you can see right now I have the US is at um, 1055 with the throttle all the way down. When I arm, ignore my uh, sounds here, but when I arm, you'll see it stays the same. So it's the same, 1055. And when I arm all the way up, you'll see that it jumps to 1072. That is, uh, that's how the throttle gets bumped up to activate air mode, even though the throttle is all the way down. And then when you uh, put the switch back to zero or to center, I mean, it goes back to 1055. So when you drop your throttle all the way down, your, your props or it turns off your, uh, PID controller and then gotcha. all the way down will disarm channel five. Um, which is aux one and that'll disarm the quadcopter So that's basically how I did it um, This works great for me. The reason I like doing it this way uh, is mainly It makes your throttle feel the same It doesn't change the low-end characteristics of how your throttle works when you go into air mode and it just barely barely bumps your uh, RPM your motors up Um it doesn't really move it up any more than what it would if you uh, just had air mode on all the time uh, in the GUI. The bonus to this is when you come into land, you can actually disable air mode. That way, when you cut your throttle all the way down, it shuts the PID controller off completely. Um, and you, none of your other controls, yaw and pitch, roll, none of those will be affected and you don't get that bouncing. So hopefully this helps you guys out. And... Uh, Enjoy flying.